Oh, so my name is Kaushin Mohan, and this is the A-Team. Hi, my name is Kaushik Mohan. I am an operations manager at Alt, and I collect mainly basketball cards. I grew up as a kid in New York City. My dad uh, did like high school here, and he was a huge Knicks fan. So all throughout the 90s, I'm about Larry Johnson's four-point play. Latrell Sprewell, Allen Houston, and Patrick Ewing, those are my guys. And so I just watched all the Knicks games and basketball just became big for me. Then I moved to Kentucky and Kentucky has zero professional sports teams and all they care about is college basketball. So it just kind of carried from that. Best card I had as a kid, uh, I had a John Starks, a bunch of John Starks rookie cards. I collected him a lot. I, I really, I really wanted him to succeed. And then we lost in game seven of the finals. And then I got mad at John Starks. I was also seven years old at that time. I actually don't own a John Starks card today, which is crazy to me. But, you know, maybe after this uh, interview, I'll go out there and buy something. I grew up in a town of just 10,000 people. So I had no like access to go to the games, see the players. So for me, this is like to get closer to the game. So going to like the card shop, getting Pokemon cards, getting sports cards, that was my way of being connected. Being a collector myself allows me to understand the different aspects to other people's way of collecting. Once you're at all, you actually get to hear the collector stories more. So you understand what their perspective is to why they're collecting the way that they're collecting. Everybody has just a different vision. They've had a different journey. I myself have changed my collecting patterns three times, probably in the last 10 years. Uh, I used to, you know, just be a set collector. Then I decided I'm going to go into the modern age. Now I'm back to set collecting. So it's just interesting that you can see that you can collect anything. In the startup, you wear many hats. I run the pricing team here at Alt and we're here to make sure that, you know, customers get accurate values on their cards. Data quality is really good and we're really, really focused on that here at Alt. We want to have the best data set in the entire industry so that whenever you use Instant Pricer at a card show, you don't have to question, oh, is this comp legitimate? Is this naming of this card correct? So those are pretty much the main things I do here at Alt. The best part about the job is we're really focused on understanding what could cause people to want to love cards even more. A lot of people at Alt have good collections, but these are my babies. This is something I just got last week. I've been chasing it for a year. This is a Kobe Bryant 2004 Pristine Gold. It's one of his most beautiful cards, I believe, in existence. It's out of 27. And then uh, another guy uh, that I believed in for a year and he's all the talk right now. This is Jalen Brunson's National Treasures RPA Logo Men. Only one in existence. This is when he was on the Mavs with Luca, and now he's doing his thing up for the Knicks. So obviously the best Knicks player probably to be there since Melo. So I'm really ecstatic about holding this one. So played college sports. If you know anybody that does like professional sports or even amateur level, there's like a lot of superstition. They want to get the right socks on. They, they think they got to put the right shorts on or they won't do something on a certain day on game day. So for me, in every one of my card boxes that I ever take to a show, I have this card actually there. And this is uh, a sage of Devin Thomas, okay? He only, he's not in the league anymore. And people are like, who the heck is this guy? So I'm a New York Giants fan. I grew up a New York Giants fan my whole life. And the New York Giants were playing the San Francisco 49ers on the NFC Championship game. And this guy recovered a muff punt. And then we kicked the field goal to send us to the Super Bowl. This card's probably a, maybe a $2, maybe a dollar. You know, I don't even know if it's available. But I bought it right after he did this. And now I've kept it with me every place I go. It's my good luck charm. What's next for Kaushik's collection is I'm going back to the roots. I'm going for two or three things. Rarity, beauty. 
Those are the main two things I'm looking for. And then back to set collecting. I'm only looking at what is potentially rare and beautiful. And here's the truth. A lot of people will say rare is one of ones. Unfortunately, I have a, only a limited amount of money. So I'm gonna go with what I can afford. But essentially, let's concentrate on rarity and beauty. And honestly, this card right here, it doesn't sell very often. And it just is it's pretty. And I think that's what cards are about. My lane is, I want beautiful. What's next for alt is innovation. How do we change the industry? And we have some things in the works for later this year that I believe will do that. Uh, so stay tuned for that.